What's up metalheads? Welcome to another YouTube video and I'm finally here guys to give you guys an album review. It's been nearly three weeks but the only reason is because I was doing album reviews just about every week and I just got burnt out on it. And another reason I haven't done one in nearly three weeks is because other albums that are coming out for the rest of the year I'm not really interesting them I mean I'm not really interested in reviewing them I mean there might be some good albums still coming out for the rest of 2019 I really don't know but I'm not gonna review it even if it is a good album I might still listen to it but I'm not gonna review it because I've already done plenty of album reviews for bands that I ever that I've never done on the channel before, so yeah, guys. So I am back though, guys, for another album review. I just want to explain why I haven't done an album review in a while. So yeah, guys, I am going to be reviewing the sixth studio album by new metal band Corn, and the album is called Take a Look in the Mirror. And yeah, let's go and get started. Okay, so this album is almost 16 years old. It was released on November 21st, 2003. And it's the sixth studio album. And it includes the songs Right Now, Break Some Off, Counting On Me, Here, Come, Here It Comes Again, Deep Inside, Did My Time, Everything I've Known, Play Me featuring Nas, Alive, Let's do this now. I'm done. Y'all want a single? When will this end? And the song, When Will This End, includes a hidden track, which is a cover of Metallica's song One. But yeah, I'm not going to be talking about every single song from this album because I would just be repeating myself over and over. But I want to start off talking about the song called Right Now, which is the opening song. So yeah, Right Now was one of the singles that we did get from this album. And I just really like the song. I really like the chorus. When Jonathan Davis says he'll f you up, I don't really want to cuss in this video because of the copper rule. So yeah, I really like that part of the chorus though. But the song overall though is fantastic. Just a really good song. I really do like this song and I think it's one of Korn's best 2000s songs. Just a really good song. Okay, the next song I want to talk about is the other single called Did My Time, and Did My Time is another great song from this album, and it's just another really good single. It's a catchy song. I really dig the chorus. It's just a really good chorus overall. Just really good song. Definitely another song that I think is definitely one of Korn's best songs from the 2000s era. Another song I want to talk about is called Alive, and this is like a new version of the song called Need To, and the song Need To by Korn appears on their 1994 debut album. So, for this album, they re-recorded it, and the song is called Alive or something like that. You guys can read the article on Wikipedia, it can explain it better than I can. But yeah, either way, Alive is a really good song, and... Yeah, don't really have anything else to say for the song Alive, but it is a good song. Okay, the next song I'm going to talk about for this review is the song called Play Me Featuring Nalls. And one day I was on Apple Music listening to this album fully, and the time I got to the song, I was like, wait, Corn made a song with Nalls? This is really cool, so yeah, it is cool that Nalls appears in Korn song because Nas is one of the best rappers of all time and Korn is one of the best new metal bands of all time so this is a great combination and great collaboration between two legendary musicians so yeah alright the next song I'm going to talk about is called Y'all Want a Single and I prefer the explicit version over the clean version because the clean version, it's just ridiculous because the explicit says y'all want a single safe 
that the, the original, I mean, the, okay, so the original explicit version says you all want a single safe, that, but the clone version says you all want a single safe stuff that, like, what the hell? Why not just, why not just take out the whole part instead of replacing the F part with suck because that's even worse, you guys know what I mean. But yeah, I do prefer the explicit version because yes, this is the explicit version of the album so I don't have nothing to worry about. So the last song I want to talk about for this review is called... Let's see what song I want to talk about. Last, okay, I'll talk about the song called... Let's see guys, I'll talk about the closing track called When Will The Sin, so yeah, I was going to talk about that song. So the song When Will The Sin does include a, clo a um, hidden track and the cover is, is for Metallica's song 1. As you guys can probably see on the sticker here, I didn't tell you right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry about the glare, by the way, guys. So yeah, that hidden track is at the end of When Love Is Sin. But yeah, I think the cover of one, I think it's okay. It was like a live version, not a studio version. So yeah, but either way, I think it's a pretty good cover. Not nowhere near the original because the original is a classic for sure. Definitely one of the best metal songs in the 80s. But yeah, Korn's cover isn't that bad, but When Will Descend, I think it's a great song. I think it's a fantastic way to end the album. But yeah, guys, other than that, that's all I got for this album review. But I was reading something about on Wikipedia for this album, and it was saying something about that Jonathan Davis said like around 2015 in an interview that, that he thinks Take a Look in the Mirror is the worst Korn album, but... I definitely disagree with that because this isn't the best Korn album. I'm not saying that, but I think it's a really good album. Some people might agree with Jonathan Davis because he's the lead singer of the band, but I definitely disagree with Jonathan because I really like Take a Look in the Mirror. I think it's a good album. Like I said, it's not their best album, but I still think it's a good album. It's nowhere near the worst album, at least in my opinion, and isn't because. To me, I think their 2010 album is much worse, even though their 2010 album has a few good songs. That album, it's just not as good as the rest of the material, but Take a Look in the Mirror is way better than the 2010 album. Way better. So yeah, Take a Look in the Mirror is definitely not Korn's worst album. To me, it isn't. So guys, before I end the review, I'm going to go ahead and rate this album. So Take a Look in the Mirror by Korn. I'm going to go ahead and give this album a 9 out of 10. But yeah, guys, other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.